Clarkson Healthcare HVAC System Replacement Wolf's Plumbing and Heating The project consisted of replacing an existing unreliable HVAC system with a new geothermal heat pump system. The trick was the new system had to be in and operational before any shutdown and removal of the existing system. The building consists of a core area that's composed of a commons area, offices, kitchen and dining, plus four wings which contain a total of 54 resident rooms. Two of the wings had a crawl space while the rest of the building had a basement which consisted of the laundry, storage, and existing HVAC and electrical equipment. Part of the storage area was converted to the new main mechanical room for the new hydronic system. In all, there were 80 water source heat pumps installed, most of which were installed above restroom ceilings in the resident rooms. There was a small cooling system which was composed of a water-to-water -water heat pump supplying chilled water to 10 fan coil units. The geothermal heat exchanger consisted of 33 wells, each 400 feet deep. There were two rooftop units which took care of the commons and dining areas. Piping mains for the hydronic system ran inside the attics of the wings, the mains tying all the wings together as well as supplying fluid to the rooftop units were installed on the roof of the core of the building. There was a structural chase built on the roof which enclosed the ductwork from as well as being the support for the two new rooftop units. These rooftop units supply the necessary fresh air to the buildings to supply the necessary air changes needed as well as provide heating and cooling for the core areas. Throughout the corridors and main area of the building, there were new supply and return diffusers cut into the ceiling and hooked up to the rooftop unit ductwork, which was run in the attics and inside the new chaise built on the roof. In each resident bathroom, there were pre-insulated condensate drain lines finished up the wall from under the lavatory to above the ceiling as well as four branch pipes stubbed into the attic and mounted rigidly to allow for connection to the mains in the attic and then to the heat pumps as they were installed. All this took a great deal of coordination between workers and owner. Once the mains were all connected and all the branch pipes installed to the valves at the location of the units, they were tested and verified. That's when the scheduling started for picking sets of rooms that could be isolated long enough to allow for the necessary construction. Ceilings in the restrooms were removed, new heat pumps installed, and necessary HVAC and electrical completed. There was a fire sprinkler system required to be relocated in each of these locations. The ceiling was then reinstalled and scheduling for the next batch of rooms was discussed. This continued until everything was installed. As things got done, the new system was turned on one wing at a time. Things went very smooth. It seems quite remarkable that this whole project was completed in a nursing home facility during the COVID pandemic. The project team completed a very difficult and unique project very efficiently and with an excellent level of craftsmanship. They can all be very proud. Master Craftsman Superintendent Bruce Walby, Craftsman Slade Volk, Mason Kitefers, Dawson Hoven, Wyatt Horn, Eddie Frazier, Drew Brinda, and Zeb Palmer. Help us congratulate the craftsmen from Wolf's Plumbing and Heating.